Okay, beta investments. I updated my uh, camera a little bit here. So now I have a legit angle and tripod. Now we can get some real, real good openings going. Right, Lee? Exactly. Let me see over there. See. Box topper. Okay, box topper. What do we got? What do we got? Foil Mothra. Whoa, another foil King Ghidorah. I will take that, please. Yes. Do I even want to bother with the rest of the text? Yes, of course I do. This is ridiculous. Just gotta waste my money. All right. Let's do this. Pack one. What goodies does Akoria have for us today? Whoa. Riel. Nice. Uncommons. Commons. Other stuff. Who cares, right? All right. That's a good, uh, I mean, I mean, I don't know if it's good mythic open, but it's an interesting one. So, moving on. All right. Mythos of Luna. I feel like I have more than four of those now. Uh, I'll look at those with the uncommons. Julians, we'll put with the commons. Okay. We're looking for some interesting stuff. Hopefully some cool mythics. I mean, Rio was fine, but it's not like the hot mythic, you know. It does stand to like break standard a little bit. Oh, Brocos, okay. So Brocos is kind of whatever uh, as a mythic. <laughs> but I mean, people love him. So, the, uh, Alternate art version of that, the comic book art of Brockos is, oof, so good. Okay. All right, we got some uh, token thingies. We got a mountain, foil mystic oracorn. That's cool. And a slither wisp. This was played in those like instant flash decks that I don't think are taken off right now unless companion gets banned maybe. All right. Looking, moving on. Ooh, Genesis Ultimatum Foil, Karuga. That's pretty good. I do like Genesis Ultimatum. I do think it's one of the better ones. It's interesting that Teamer actually got like <laughs> a good big card because I feel like Constant Tarkir, whenever Teamer was happening there, it always gets screwed over. Let's see if I need to like move the cards closer. Anyway, moving on. What goodies do we get? Moving cards closer. Mythos of Vadrock. Also a kind of ridiculous card. I mean, there's. it's funny that like they print all these really, really good rares that are just like not necessarily bad cards, and then they don't get used in standard still or whatever. Because they're just, just quite not good enough, but they're still like really good. Of course, it could also just be because they, de they designed such a Broken mechanic and companion. All right, Kogla, Kogla, the Titan Ape. Whatever rare, kind of sucks they didn't make a, um, whatchamacallit, King Kong. But I know that's not part of the same IP as Godzilla. It's like Universal or something. Godzilla. Crystalline Giant. Oh man, I wish they had printed the, uh, Crystalline Giant Godzilla alt in English. It's, it's gonna be super hard to get. It's a Japanese card only. And it looks so cool, Mecha Godzilla. Come on. All right, moving on. Offspring's Revenge. Oof, not the greatest, not the greatest rare. I saw some like Arena Boys deck trying to play it. I don't know. I don't think it's that good of a card. Oh, we got a mythic. That's three mythics so far. Cheville, Bane of Monsters. I assume it's Cheville. I always get mad when 
they don't produce, produce, pronounce the names correctly, but I mean, this, this set has a ton of weird names. And then you're adding the Godzilla names, which not everybody knows. It's pretty funny. All right. Yorion. That's highly playable right now. Hot stuff in, in uh, Standard. And also, I think, was played in a modern deck to a top eight. Crazy. Okay. Next one, Ferocious Tigerilla. Ooh, Alluris. I do love opening Alluris right now while he's still playable. And that foil. The foils didn't really stand out. Like, it's weird because I didn't even think that, that Tigerilla was a foil until I like looked at it closely. I was like, oh, yeah, it's a foil. And it's in the foil spot, so that makes sense. All right, next one. Ooh, Savai, Triome. All right, uh, always, always in for Triomes. No matter what version, they're still playable. And then, oh look, Cavern Whisperer. Uh, interesting that they put the alternate arts in the pack so you can open them randomly too. They're all really cool. But, uh, yeah, oh man, all right, here we go. They're all really cool, but like, I just don't want them, you know, or I shouldn't say I don't want them, but they might be like very common to get. Oh, look at that, a third companion. Kahira the Orphan Guard. I think it was also like a highly playable card that's not like too broken, but maybe it is. And then there's our uncommons. I actually personally like Kahira because I feel like it doesn't really have that great of a restriction. You know, you just need to, you get five different creature types to make a sort of tribal deck out of. <laughs> Gotta find good cards in those creature types. All right. Gloom, Pangolin, Foil, and Quartzwood Crasher. This card is a ridiculous limited card, and I don't know if it's ever gonna see a standard play, but, uh, you know, it looks cool. Oh, wrong way. All right, moving on. Might as well just like talk a little bit about each of these cards now that I've drafted so much of it online. Ooh, Lava Brink Venture. This card, like, it's it's like one of those cards that's just good, but not broken. You know, sometimes it just wins you the game. Sometimes it's just a, it's just the like true name and nemesis. But you know, there's lots of removal in each colors, lots of creatures in each colors. Broken against uh, whatever uh, Garudo or Obosh, though, depending on which one you go up against. Gem Razor, I actually actually have seen some decks playing this deck, playing this card, just to take out fires of uh, invention and stuff like that. I mean, it's only a three mana for, you know, to kill a, a an artifact or enchantment, so you really just need to have like a one drop and play or something like that. All right, moving on. Like I could see Gem Razor being one of the more playable mutate cards with this current environment in standard at the very least. All right, Bloodfell Caves, Extinction Event. I'm still waiting for this one to see play. It also seems like it could have a, a good place in at least standard. I mean, it's a four mana exile, not even a wrath. Well, it is a wrath, but like four mana exile wrath. It's pretty crazy. It's like a one potential for one sided wrathness. All right. Island Colossification. Oh, that card. The card that made me want to get some storm, storm wheel heralds. And then. Came with that one clause to tap your creature. Still cool though. Big 2020. Moving on. We've opened three mythics. Let's see if we get any more. Ooh, Cub Warden, alternate art. All right. That's cool. That's uh, not the best one to open, but I mean, it's like, you know, a good limited card. <laughs> Create more creatures that you can mutate onto. I definitely first picked that in the draft. All right. We have a companion token, Wilt, which I think is highly playable. I mean, just like naturalized with cycling. Everquill Phoenix. Probably not the best card, but you know, it's Phoenix. Maybe Phoenix Tribal becomes big and everybody wants that mutate card because every time it mutates, you get another Phoenix. Oops. These go, go here, these go here, these go here. All right, we're looking for some hot ones. We haven't had too many crazy pulls here. You know, maybe that Cheville card is pretty interesting at the least, but it's not like it's like highly playable or anything. Mythos of Nethroy, that's our third Mythos. 
And at least they're like all good except for maybe the white one. I mean, I'm not even sure if the white one's good. I just never felt like I needed to play it in an limited environment. There is uncommons and commons. Ooh, Dreamtail Heron. Pretty cool art. All right. Human Soldier. Dang, look at that art though. All right. Whirlwind of Thought. Ooh, that's that's a card that potentially can be broken. Super cheap right now, not worth much, but you know, never know in the future. Just like another Just Guy Ascendancy or something like that. And it even has our Just Guy Girl in it. In our set. All right. Human Soldier, Tranquil Pope. Ooh, look at that alternate art, uh, Eluna. Just like Ghidorah over there. This is actually one of the cooler comic book league ones. This one in Brocos. It just looks like it's straight out of a comic book. Pretty sweet. Glad I got it. Ooh, Trumpy Nar. Actually, I think this is like my very first one. I've opened up four boxes so far. If I had a choice, I'd probably collect the comic book arts over the Godzilla art, just because I'm, you know, way more into comic books than Godzilla, but um, they're both really cool. Just offering different skins for cards different, at different values, you know? It's like, the, it's like their own little lottery card of, of uh, varying scale on what you can open, which I don't really think hurts the game that much because if you think about it, it just prints a bunch of copies of cards so it's like everything becomes available and then it kind of rewards players to open something but not in a, not in somewhat of a tragic way like the inventions were. At least these can like pop up more often. Oh, that's my fourth companion. And I think that's like a fourth foil land. I'm, it's either third or fourth. But oh gosh, Trey Piercer, Island, and a Necropanther, Flash Titans, Zagoth, Mamba, Nightmare Snake. Pretty interesting card. All right. Moving on. Shark. Ooh, yes. Oh, wow. I'm about to get all the Mythics in this box. I mean, all the uh, companions in this box. Gigantha. Make sure that's clear. Yep. Oop, wrong way. Eh, let's do this. Let's do that right there. All right, there we go. Gigantha. I hope it's been clear. It would suck if it wasn't. But, you know, trial and error. This is my first time with the tripod, so I apologize if it wasn't. But I definitely got to do more box openings as I gain more product over, the, over time. Human Soldier, and focus that sucker. Ruinous Ultimatum, oh, that one-sided wrath. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I mean, not worth anything crazy right now, but it's, uh, for Mardu Dex, it is like a game ender in a way. Just like Plague Win everyone. What if Planet Cleansing was a Plague Win? All right, Snare. Snare Tactician, Dreneth Magistrate, Playable Hate Bear, getting some uh, get some attention from from like people who just freaking hate companions, which I totally get. Oops, well, companions are super annoying, but is what it is. All right, moving on. We're almost done. This box hasn't been that crazy. I'm gonna be honest. This box kind of sucks. The Ghidorah was cool though. Sea Dasher Octopus. Ghidorah is probably like the best part of the box, <laughs> but I don't really mind. It's not like I paid an arm and a leg for these. Just an arm. Chittering Harvester. Oh, Bulb Key. I guess they give you two alternate arts. I feel like I've gotten almost two in every pack. Definitely an average of at least one every pack, which is cool. These, these pack shield, pack shells are. Encroaching on us. Ooh, Zagoth Triome. Dang, look at that. Look at that beauty. Love these arts. Those are going to be hot ones to come. Oh, there's a Zenith player. Part of the, uh, one of the best decks that doesn't have a companion in it. The cycling deck. Of course, you know, you make one drop cycles and something, a, a huge cycling payoff like that, you're just going to have a good deck. It's like one of the easiest decks to make. And it's fun at first, but again, it gets a little boring. I'm going to be honest. Yadaro. Not great. I mean, not great right now. Could be good in something. Probably not, though. Like, who wants to do all that just for an 8-8? Eight, eight? 
haste that might not even win you the game. I do like the idea of weaponizing the monsters, but two mana to sack a creature. It's a little much. All right, last three packs. Nothing great out of this box. Only three mythics, but whatever. We've, we've come all this way. Let's keep doing it. All right, oh, sorry, I opened four mythics. Five mythics. All right, all the mutate cards, no planeswalkers, but that's fine. Um, still really cool. Badrock, Apex of Thunder. I think that's like four of the, or no, I definitely opened three, three of them. Yep. All right, Monster Step, Heartless whatever. What is it called? Heartless Act. Open up a couple of those boxes though. These boxes are hot stuff. Highly playable in the uh, cycling deck. All right. Companion. And wow, a, a six companion. That's crazy. And then a whatever foil. I didn't, I guess like it is possible they open up all these companions. Like it just happens there's 10 of them in the set. I, I just didn't think that I'd get six of them. Almost all of them. Look, I have two, I have two packs left. Maybe I can get two more. see we'll see or i'll take a i'll take another mythic six mythic box why not oh it's a second genesis ultimatum that's cool and then a couple of comments oops gotta put that in the right place and then the comments go in a big pile all right last pack what do we got let's see one two labyrinth raptor whatever <laughs> not great all right, i guess i'll show it not great, but who cares? All right. We didn't do this to open value. We did this to uh, just videotape it for people who want to know why you shouldn't <laughs> open boxes. Just live vicariously through my poor decisions. All right. Let's go through this one more time. Oop. We got Labyrinth Raptor, Genesis Ultimatum, Umori, Badrock. We'll put the uh, only one. Only two triumphs in a box, and one of them all art, but still cool. So let's let's actually move the things of interest to the back, so I can look at them again. And I'll just go through it real quick. And if you're looking at it, you know you can be like, "Oh, okay, there's that, there's that." Wow, Karuga too. Oh, that was the other one I opened. Okay, so I think I pull them all aside. If I didn't, well, whoops. All right, so we ended up with one, two, three, four, five mythics. Five mythic box. Nothing, none of the crazy expensive mythics, but the uh, combo book of Luna is pretty sweet. Bam. And then, like I said earlier, we ended up with seven. Damn. I didn't think we ended up with seven. That's crazy. All the green ones, too? Yep, all the green ones. Almost all the black ones. I think we're missing one of the black ones. So we're missing Garuda and... Garuda, Zerda, and one more. I'm trying to figure it out. I'll give myself a couple seconds. I don't remember. <laughs> red, red, blue, red, black. Or red, black, red, green. So oh, we're missing Lutri. Yeah, Lutri, Zerda, and Garuda. The otter, the demon, leviathan, and the, I don't know, fox thing. Anyway, all right, that's Beta Investments. I'm Tony. See you next time.